Welcome back to another mind test mod review. Today we are looking at the wrench mod. So this mod adds a wrench. Wow, what a surprise! Uh, to craft it, you're just gonna need yourself some steel ingots, um, or or a steel ingot with colored wool. What? 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 Huh? I'm assuming you can uh, color the wrenches. And it must be using like hardware coloring, which is why it doesn't show any different in the crafting inventory there. Um, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, what what does a wrench do? Well, a wrench lets you pick up a chest full of items, or a, a shelf full of items, or a lot of other things full of items. So let's get started here. So here we'll see that I have a chest with just a bunch of just a bunch of random junk in it, right? And if I were to try to break this, um, you'll see that I can't. So what I need to do is retrieve another chest from my inventory um, and then run over to my to my new house here. Shiny brand spanking new house, put my chest in. All right, perfect. Now I can run back over here to my chest, grab all of my items out. And then, oh, I suppose I can go ahead and break this chest too, right, because don't really need that empty chest sitting there. And then I can go ahead and fill all my items into the chest. Very nice, very nice, right? Uh, and now I just need to repeat this, um, what, six times yet for all of these other chests I have? Seems like an awful lot of work. Plus, you know, I have this locked chest here and I have two more locked chests there. But in order to, uh, to really do this, I'm gonna have to take this uh, one locked chest that I have here place it there, and then run out here, grab everything from that lock chest, put into this lock chest. Essentially what I'm getting at is I'm gonna end up with one extra locked chest than what I really needed to craft because I had to have a locked chest to put the stuff into. Unless of course I had enough space in my inventory. Um, that's really just a really long roundabout way of saying this makes it so much easier. You just punch your, no oh, well first, let me show that there's inventory in this node. See, we have a torch, some seeds, diamonds, blah, blah, blah. You know, just basic stuff that you'd want to have locked up. Um, and we can just punch it with the wrench and it's added into our inventory. I can go ahead, run into my house, pop it right here. All of my items, just as they were. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, these chests actually have the exact same stuff because when I, uh, Initially, I was che checking this out. Uh, I had creative enabled. And creative, uh, well, you know how creative works, assuming you do. Um, you can pick stuff up and then you can place it down infinitely. So I uh, tripled my, my goodies here with a simple hack. It's not really a hack. But yeah, so you can see that I have tripled my inventory because of uh, a small mistake. But it doesn't end there. So we had the locked chests, right? Let's go ahead and check out some other things we can do. So I have a shelf full of uh, steel bottles and some glassware. And I have a bookshelf full of, well, they're empty books, but that's neither here nor there. Um, it looks like the bookshelf's not working for some reason. That's weird. I thought it was supposed to work with the bookshelf as well. Um, okay, what's... It's interesting because that one doesn't give me a, an error message at all. What if I take all the books out? Yeah, no error message. If I try to do the furnace, it'll tell me cannot pick up node. Node contains unknown metadata. Which I'm not sure what that's all about because I have nothing in the furnace. Also interesting that I can cook a book. What did the book cook into? Interesting, very interesting. Okay, so I guess a bookshelf doesn't work. I could have sworn, let me check here. Oh, that's from default, it's not from, not that you necessarily make a difference. Um, yeah, I thought it said the bookshelf worked and the furnace worked, but clearly we can see here they don't. Um, there is a list. Let me just take a peeky look see -er here. So the wrench does support items from 
really scroll so I can see the 3D armor stand, uh, basic signs, bees, biofuels, bones, connected chests, default, digi lines, digi screen, digi stuff, digtron, drawers, Misicon's command block, Misicon detector, Misicon loo controller, Misicon microcontroller, mobs, more chest, pipeworks, protector, sign lib, technic, technic chest, technic CNC, vessels, and X decor. I was, for some dumb reason, I was thinking that the bookshelf was vessels, but it's default. Um, which, I mean, these are default, and they aren't, so I'm not sure why the bookshelf is not. It's a little confusing to me but it is what it is um and yes the furnace also doesn't appear to be but i thought it was supposed to be so i don't know maybe there's just something wrong on my end with that um but not to worry because i have another furnace that i can pop in my house and there you go instead of having to carry everything one by one uh, and in in my example you know it's kind of a poor example because i had so few things but if you had a whole wall full What's your inventory, like 64, 64 items, right? Um, and if you had a whole bunch of chests, that would take a long time. But with the wrench, you could put 64 full chests into your inventory and transport them from one location to another. It would really save you a lot of time. And that's, that's the mod. So... I want to say if you are using Technic, the recipe does change, um, and it uses something from Technic, although I'm not sure what because I do not have Technic enabled in this uh, sample world here that's existing solely for the purpose of this mod review. Uh, but yeah, there you go, the wrench mod. If you are interested in downloading it, I will have all of the links on my website, which will be linked down in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.